28 races held at Spa between 1950 and 2015, the race winner has only started from pole position on 16 occasions. Qualifying yesterday may have set the order for today, but expect the unexpected here at the Belgian Grand Prix. As the saying goes, of course, anything can happen. And you know what? It usually does. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Lee, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Hülkenberg, Weber, Albon and Daniel Ricciardo, Magnussen, Perez, Pierre Gasly and Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Russell, Daniel Kvyat and Kim Raikkonen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Kubica and Devon Butler starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So let's review the updated driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I think it's got to be Lucas Weber. Time and time again, he proves that he's someone who can quietly get the job done, and that's exactly what he's done today. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. It was more like dodgems than Formula One today, wasn't it? You must be happy with the result today. That was a good race for Lucas. Are you pleased to see him doing well? There wasn't much between you and Lucas by the finish today. Appreciate your time. Great work this weekend. It was fantastic to see you up on that podium.